Welcome to Bunnyfish Crafts. I'm your host Heather, known as Bunnyfish on Revelry Instagram and YouTube. Today is Wednesday, July 18th, 2018, and this is episode 16. My show notes are over there. That's not helpful. Oh well. It's going to be a short one this week, which you can already tell because you can see the time. Um, my week has been good but busy. Summer vacation is just, it leads for hectic times. So let's get into content, yeah? Um, administration stuff, all the small things that along is going on, going great. There's over 240 entries right now, which is amazing. Um, I'm not going to do winners this week. So there's that. Everybody has contacted me, though, with what they want so far, all the winners. So the prize list of what is still available is accurate. Um, also, the summer shorties knit along is going on. So all the small things ends at the end of this month. So July 30th, 31st, however many days are in July. Um, the summer shorties knit along goes through August 15th. And prizes will be drawn for that at the end of the knit along period. Um, rules for both of those are in the threads on the Ravelry group. Um, a couple Instagram giveaways that are going on. One is for Tour de Fleece, and it runs until the day after ish of Tour de Fleece with the hashtag BPHTDF18. And the um, the prize for that will be an $8 giftable pattern through Ravelry so that you can make something fun with your new hand spun. Um, all you have to do for that is participate in Tour de Fleece in some way. I don't have any, um, I'm not going to force you to do anything in particular. And tag that on Instagram and then um, I will draw for that the day after Tour de Fleece. Sorry, that was redundant. Um, also, there is a giveaway through the 20th with hashtag BPHENDS18, B Bunny Fish Ends18, um, and that is just to weave in ends. Any ends on anything, I'm not picky, um, and then the prize for that will be a copy of my rebound pattern that just came out. I think that's all the administration. Hopefully, since I don't have my show notes with me. Um, so, I don't have anything finished because it's been a week only. And I had like seven finished objects last time. So, I do have a half-finished object, which I am obsessed with. So, this is the design sock that I was working on last week that I only had like two stripes finished. Look at how awesome that is. So this is going to be released on August 1st. And it is the final pattern in the Helicoid um, collection, Volume 1 socks. So yeah, this, um, this yarn right here is 716 Knit in the The Girl Makes Godot Look Punctual colorway. And then this yarn is from a mini skein set. This pattern requires a skein of yarn. Um, if you have small feet, like I have US size 9 feet, so they're kind of big. Um, if you have small feet, you could totally get away with having a 50 gram skein for the main color. Um, and then for the contrasting color a 20 gram mini skein is more than sufficient so I am just I'm so in love with this pattern um I do have it written up to have mirroring legs because um the wrap and turn side is kind of lacy and the other side is not but you could totally just knit two of the same socks and if you don't care about that lace matching up so here's the first one and the second one is in progress, and I'm working down the foot right now. So, as you can see, this side is not lacy, and this side is lacy. Um, 
yeah, so it's going along, and I am super, super in love with this pattern. It's a really fun pattern to work up, um, and then the foot is stockinette, so that just goes so, so quickly. I will likely have the sock done, if not today, probably today, but if not today, definitely tomorrow. And um, all I have left for the contrast 20 gram mini skein is the toe, and I still have a pretty significant bit of yarn left over from my 20 gram mini skein. So I will be able to use this for a square or something when it's done. And then this is what I have. I still have to do the foot, but I am. How many stripes are on my foot? Do do do. I am, let's say two in and I have eight to go. So that's only six more stripes. So that'll be easy. And um, for those of you who are playing along on Instagram, you already know. But for those of you who weren't, I took my kids to a fireworks display last Wednesday. Um, a lot of the cities in my area, it's their um, bicentennial this year. So they're are a fair bit of fireworks displays in my area. Took my kids to that and while we were sitting, well I was I was knitting on it while we were walking around and stuff, um, while they were walking around, I actually just sat because I uh, I make my kids use the buddy system when we go out in public and so they went running off to the bouncy houses and they just had to check in every so often. So I worked on it then, and then I, for the hour between where things started shutting down for the night and fireworks started, I sat and read um, a new book by Jacqueline Carey, who you know I love, if you've been watching for a while. And if you haven't, I love Jacqueline Carey. I highly recommend almost all of her books. Um, and the ones that I don't like, it's not because they're poorly written, it's because they're written in a style that I don't enjoy. But I know that certain other people like that style, so then I recommend it to them. Um, it's called, I want to say it's called Starless, and I am about 150 pages in, and I love it so, so much. So definitely give that a check out. Um, but yeah, so I finished, I knit almost the entire foot. Actually, I knit the entire foot while I was at the fireworks. And then I did the toe the next morning. So it works up super, super fast. We were at the fireworks for about four hours. You remember how last week I said I wasn't going to start a bunch of new things? I haven't started a bunch of new things, but I have had kind of a winding party this week. With uh, In preparation for maybe next month, or maybe I'm going to throw caution to the wind and start casting on a bunch of things. I don't know. Um, but one of the things that I'm definitely casting on very soon is another pair of this sock. Um, pretty much immediately after this goes off the needles, I will likely cast it on. Um, but I am going to make this other project take priority before I can finish that second pair. Um, this... It has very little progress, but does have progress since last week. This is going to be the Highway Driving Mitts by Tanya Sigurdsson. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Um, and I am in love. I, I haven't gotten into the pattern yet, so I can't talk about the pattern. But I am in love with this Cattails yarn in the Nynaeve colorway. It's, first of all, it's so beautiful, but it's also really nice working up. Here is the tag. It's the Nynaeve colorway from Wheel of Time. And yeah, I just, it's a pleasure to knit with, but I've been obsessed with my de design socks because I really, really like this design. I'm super excited about it. However, I'm really also very excited to be working on these mitts because I know that I'm going to love them so, so much come autumn. Um, I think that I'm going to make a cord 
to go through my jacket so that I don't lose them. I haven't 100% decided on that, but I, oh, I love the colors in the yarn. I love the base. And so far, I love the pattern, even though I'm just on the cuff. I will let you know more about that next time I see you, which will hopefully be next week, um, when I should have much more progress because, like I said, after I'm done with this sock, I will be working on this, um, these mitts. I will be focusing on those. I will be starting a new knitting project this weekend, though, because we're going to the movies and the mitts have... I can't remember if it's a cable or a texture to them. Um, and so I'm going to cast on some probably vanilla socks or something for the movie this weekend. I finished the silk. I'm pretty sure I was finished with the singles last week. And I wound them off onto a toilet paper tube so that the center wouldn't collapse and I could put it on some sort of um, Lazy Kate system. And the lovely thing about my ball winder is that toilet paper tubes fit over the central um, shaft perfectly. So it's on the toilet paper tube, it's not going anywhere, and it will be easy to um, set this on a Kate system somewhere and ply. So that's the silk, but what I am playing it with is another thing of silk. Last week I misspoke and said um, that it was rainbow colors, so it's not. So this is what I'm spinning. This is my little spindle, my bead spindle, and it's spinning up kind of, kind of lumpy. I'm not super great at spinning from the hanky. Um, but it's only really lumpy around the edges of the fiber. If you've spun silk hankies, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, I'm actually going to show you really quick what a silk hanky looks like. Um, for a tour de fleece, I've been putting one hanky on per day. So you actually get, um, this, the square of silk and, um, and then someone dyes it. Mine was dyed by Jenna from 716 Knit. She does not dye them regularly. Um, I won them in a contest. They are beautiful. And um, I just love them. So what you do is you take one single layer off of the, the stack. I'm going to put the rest back in my baggie so it doesn't get caught on anything. Um, this colorway, I can't remember if I said, is called Jewel's Tones. It's 100% silk, and of this colorway, I have 7 eighths of an ounce. I do also have a rainbow set, which I will spin next because no way is this going to ply the entirety of the silk with um, just this fiber. So anyway... What you do for the silk hanky, I'm not going to spin for you today, but I will show you how I'm going to um, start this hanky. So some people push a hole in it. I don't, but you do take an edge and you start drafting. Um, you draft it and you pull it as thin as you want it to, to be. I don't know if you can draft and spin at the same time for silk. I cannot. It's not a thing that I can do. And then once you have it drafted out, then you um, add twists to it. So this will be the, the layer that I'm adding today. I have also been working on my um, gourmet stash. I haven't been working on the plying at all because this is the last bit that will be plied, but I only have this much left to spin the singles. I could theoretically spin this all today. I am not going to, but I could theoretically spin it all today. But by next week, I hope to have it completely, the singles completely spun and um, have this all attached to my plying spindle. Not plied, but this part attached and worked on a little. So I'm super excited. The end is in sight for this spin. Um, it's a beautiful spin. This fiber is so gorgeous. I'm so sad that Gourmet Stash is no longer producing fiber, but 
makers have to move on with their lives. I can't be upset, obviously. I took that whole giant hiatus from the podcast. So it is what it is. But I am loving this bin so, so much. And I'm super excited to have the yarn made. I don't know what I'm going to make with it, if anything, because you guys know that generally speaking, I don't use my own hand spun. Um, but I'm excited to have it done and have that to be able to see the finished yarn because I've been spinning it for so, so long. And there are eight colorways of fiber in this finished yarn. So I would like to see how it turns out. I have also been spinning on the Hippie Penguin Fiber um, Carnival Bears colorway. And I have made so much progress on this. Um, not that you can tell. <laughs> but I have been making really great progress on it and I um it's starting to get a little heavy so I might have to take the turtle off in the next couple days I'm going to um, keep spinning on this particular turtle until I have to start a new one because I don't really like starting new turtles but if I start a new turtle not if I'm going to before the tour is over. When I do, I will try to take some video so I can show you on the podcast how that works out. Um, you don't have to wrap your fiber very prettily on a Turkish spindle. It's not a requirement for living, but I really like it. The way you get this pattern is you wrap under one leg and then over two legs. So I will show you really quick what I'm talking about. Do, 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 do. Maybe if I'm able to. I don't know because sometimes showing you things is difficult. Okay, so it's under one leg right now. And then I'm going to wrap da, 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 over one, two, and then bring it under this one over here. I don't know if you could see that at all. I'm going to assume that you did. I'm going to wrap this back on. And then you use a half hitch to secure the fiber on the spindle. Um, I don't remember where my spindle came from. I love it so much. I won. I know where I got it from. I won it in a tour de fleece, but I don't know who the maker is off the top of my head. Um, is that? Yeah, that's all. No, there's one more spinning. I think this is. A merino, but I could be making this up. It's a, called Finico Dare. I don't know who the dyer is, and excuse me. And I got it from Josh. He sent it to me. It's um, I think it's two ounces. He's he didn't send it in the braid. He sent it in two pieces that had been split off of a braid. And I just kind of um, it's a little compacted because it's been you know, through who knows what before it got to me. Um, so I split it to pre-draft a little and some of them are big pieces and then there are less big and then some of the pieces are really just little tiny blips because that's how the fiber split off, which is fine. Um, I'm not trying to keep a color progression or anything with this um, because I'm going to spin the the second ply of the spin is going to be a totally different fiber. So I've been spinning just a little bit on this every day because I do really want to finish the gourmet stash. That's um, that's more priority and the carnival bears is more priority than this. So I've only been allowing myself to spin a little bit of this on the wheel, but um, I am really enjoying spinning on my wheel. So that is, that's been going on just a little tiny bit. Um, this week's modular, no, wait, I forgot. I have one more knitting project. It was behind my hair and I couldn't see it. Um, I have been working on a pair of socks. I don't know if I showed these, this to you, the first sock. This is Knit Picks Felici in the Special Reserves Gummy Bear colorway. Um, this was definitely finished last week. Yes. Definitely finished, and this is just a, um, it's a vanilla sock. It has just a tiny bit of ribbing at the top. I totally showed this, didn't I? Or did I show it on Instagram? 
don't know. I can't remember now. Uh, the toes, heel, the toe, heel, and cuff are knit picks, stroll in a yellow colorway. I don't remember. Um, I made the Pikachu hat out of it. If you go back to vintage um, Bunny Fish Crafts episodes. So first sock is finished and last week, if I showed these socks, um, I would have had the toe. And that's all I had on it, but I have, um, I've knit a lot because I, I was, my, my plan for the sock was that I was going to knit this foot at this upcoming weekend when I went to the movies. However, I am here. This, these three and three quarters of a or two and three quarters of a stripe that's not enough to get me through a movie the whole foot would have been enough to get me through a movie but not that tiny bit so i um i will be putting this aside to work on a different sock project at the movies last week i was at the toe that's all i had and then this happened because um just, you know, waiting here and there, a few minutes um, put into it here and there. And then yesterday, I actually um, Instagram chatted a couple times during the day. So that was really cool. The, the first time my phone had a little fritz out, I was talking to Haley and it just, my phone was like, uh, no, we're not doing this right now. Mostly because it was dying. <laughs> it was too tired to do all of that in its life. Um, so I plugged it in and then later in the day I talked to Josh, which was super nice and exciting because I miss my friends. Um, story time. Back in the day, like, I don't know, six years ago or something? Um, yeah, maybe seven? I met a group of people back when Plurk was a thing. Does anyone remember Plurk? So Plurk was a thing and people would throw up hangouts on it through um, through Google, I think, or something. And I found a core group of friends to hang out with. And we used to hang out pretty much every day. Hi! So we used to hang out pretty much every day. Um, every day if we could swing it and it was anywhere from like two to six hours every single day we would be in this video knit night chatting and then life happened people um, had to you know people moved on people moved away from where they had been living previously things came up um, people had babies so, so we don't VKM anymore because it's hard to get our schedules to mesh up or in my case, I don't have a reliable computer. Um, so what I'm, what I'm saying, I miss my friends. I miss hanging out in a fiber community. I do have, you know, a couple real life friends, <laughs> you know, um, but they're not fiber people and I don't have a fiber community here. So I really, really miss them. And it was really, really nice to talk to them in the same sort of capacity yesterday. And hopefully someday when I get a computer set up, video knit nights can be a thing. Um, but we'll see. That happened and I was, I had my phone. I was, um, I was hanging out on my bed and I didn't have any other knitting around me, so I couldn't pick up an actual project, but this just happened to be in my purse, which was next to my bed. So that's why this has so much, um, so much knitting on it, uh, which is why it can't be a movie project now. And then the last thing this week is... 
Hexapuff check-in. And I feel like I had more Hexies to check in with you, but then my daughter sat down and is possibly sick on them. Um, so I have four. These two are nitpicks. This is Red Wing Blackbird. This is um, a Kettle Dyed by Hawthorne. I don't know what the colorway is. That's a really fancy look for my hair, Mara. Uh, this is a Drops colorway. And this is a Croy colorway. So I haven't been, I've been making so much progress on all of my other blankets. This, um, this small things run, but not so much on Hexies. I don't love the Hexies blanket. I don't love making it right now. I love the way it's going to turn out, but I just, ugh, they're not my favorite thing to make. I don't know why I love mitered squares so much. I just do. And Hexies are just kind of like, okay, I guess I'll make some of those. So eventually that'll be a, a thing, that blanket, but it's going to take forever. But you know, it'll be, it's really pretty. Like it's a really nice blanket. I just, I don't know, not in love with making the Hexies right now. All right. That's all I have for you this week. I hope you made something fantastic with your st sticks and string, and I will see you next time. Bye!